let us learn a new trick of faster math right away by the way this new trick that you're about to learn will be the foundation of many more tricks you'd be learning from here on so watch closely how fast can you multiply 23,212 with 3 I'm giving you 5 seconds for that so your time starts now your time is up the correct answer would be 69636 six. right so let's see if, yeah 69636 six, six. right I'm sure you must have got the same answer what I'm concerned with this time is not the answer that you got but how you got it so let's first see the usual way of doing it the usual way of multiplying 2, 3, 2, 1, 2 with 3 or for that matter any number with any other number as we have learnt in school is this 3, 2 times is 6, 3, 1 times is 3, 3, 2 times is again 6, 3, 3 times is 9 and 3, 2 times is 6 alright well if this method is what you used to find the answer then I'm sure by now you must have spotted the inherent disadvantage of this method that is it gives us the answer from right to left that is the least significant digit first now the disadvantage of that is that that we have to wait right till the end before we can start seeing the answer isn't it first you'll find 6 then you'll find this 3 then you'll find this 6 then you'll find this 9 then you'll find this 6 and then only you can start seeing the answer that the answer is 69636 six. isn't it so any method that can help us find the answer from left to right like this that is the most significant digit first would immediately skyrocket our speed isn't it? You can straight away start seeing the answer. The answer would be 69636. Six, six. As simple as that. And that is precisely what we will be learning right now in the faster way. So let's check out the faster way of doing it. The faster way of multiplying would be from left to right. You multiply each and every digit with 3. Alright. So 2, 3 times is 6. 3 3 times is 9, 2 3 times is 6, 3 1 times is 3, and 3 2 times is 6. So your answer is 6 9 6 3 6. Alright? So you don't even have to write that. Immediately you can start saying the answer. Moment you see the question, you will say the answer would be 6 9 6 3 6. See? So simple it is. You have just seen that I have not done anything drastically. Or dramatically different here have I all I have done here is little tweaking or tuning to make the existing method go faster all right and now you know the secret of faster math the secret of faster mental math is the ability to multiply from left to right all right and you'll see that your speed will become better and better with more questions you practice okay so let's see more examples now you find out what is 1 2 1 1 2 0 times 4 so again from left to right start multiplying each and every digit with 4 so 1 4 times is 4 2 4 times is 8 1 4 times is again 4 1 4 times is again 4 and 2 4 times is 8 and 0 into any number is 0 so I'll put 0 here so your answer is 484480 all right do the next one so from left to right multiply each and every digit with 7 so 3 7 times is 21 now 1 7 times is 7 2 7 times is 14 but you know that only one digit can come here so not a problem at all carry forward one write 4 here okay now 6 7 times is 42 so 
so write 4 here, 2 here, 3 7 times is 21, so write 2 here, 1 here, now add all the numbers, so it would be 2, 1, 7 plus 1 is 8, 4 plus 4 is 8, 2 plus 2 is 4 and 1, that is what the answer is, okay. Okay, so what is this? So, 5, 6 times is 30, 7, 6 times is 42, 6, 6 times is 36, 7, 6 times is 42 and 6, 1 times is 6. Now, add the digits from left to right. So, 3, 4, 3 plus 2 is 5, 6 plus 4 is 10. So, write 1 here. 0 here and then 2 and then 6. So, the answer would be 3, 4, 6, 0, 2, 6. Alright? But then I would certainly like to avoid this step. I never do this step. This can be easily avoided. How? Let's see. See, basically, while I'm adding the digits, I'll see, I'll put 3 here. Now, I'll add 4 to 0. Okay. Now, before I put down the answer as 4 here, I'll have a look what would be the digit sum of the next digit. If it is less than 10, then I'll copy this digit as it is. Okay. 4 plus 0 is 4. Alright. Now, 3 plus 2 is 5. But before I put 5 here, I'll have a look if the digit sum of the next digit is less or more than 10. Alright. So, here in this case, it is 10 only. So, what I do is simply add 1 to 3 plus 2, alright, 3 plus 2 would be 5 and 5 plus 1 is 6 and here I just put the units digit of the sum. So, 6 plus 4 is 10, so the units digit is 0, so I put 0 here and 2, 6, that is what the answer is. The logic here is very simple, see, the digit sum like 6 plus 4 is 10, so it's always 1 that is carried forward to the left. Isn't it? Take any digit sum, like uh, 6 plus 8, the answer would be 14, isn't it? So, again, 1 would be carried forward to the left and on the right, this units digit would be copied. Maximum digit sum would be 9 plus 9, isn't it? Digit can't be more than 9, so 9 plus 9 is 18. Again, what will be carried forward towards the left would always be 1. So, that is what I do. I just have a look if the next digit would be uh, add up to more than 10 then if it does if it's 10 or more then I add 1 to this otherwise I just copy the sum as it is now let's take smaller numbers why to always take huge numbers isn't it so take smaller numbers what is 32 times 8 all right so again 3 8 times is 24 and 2 8 times is 16. So, write 1 here, 6 here. 24 plus 1 is 25. So, the answer is 256. See, it works so well, isn't it? What would 1, 2, 2, 1, 1 times 13 be? Alright. So, 1 13 times is 13. 2 13 times is 26. Again, 2 13 times is 26. 1 13 times is 13 and 1 13 times is 13. Now add the digits. It would be 1. 3 plus 2 is 5. And the next digit sum is less than 10. So no problem. Copy 5 as it is. 6 plus 2 is 8. And have a glance at the next digit sum. So it is less than 10. So put 8. 6 plus 1 is 7. And the next digit sum is less. So no problem. 3 plus 1 is 4. 3. This is what the answer is. Now, here I have assumed that you know the table of 13, but what if, if you don't know the table of 13, though I would very strongly recommend that you must know multiplication tables till 20, but what if, if you don't know, don't worry about it at all, because the trick that you're about to learn next would take care of that. In fact, that trick is so good and so fast that even those people who know the multiplication tables till 20, I'll recommend that you use that trick instead of using the direct table multiplication. Alright, so let's see the next trick. 